pictograph. Look at our previous table. We have collected the data in the form of numbers. If we represent the same numbers in the form of pictures, it is called pictograph. The number of birthday gifts that you got is represented in this table. This information can be represented in a pictograph form too. Oh, Meeta, this is very interesting. Look at this pond. Can you see animals? Can we collect the data and make a pictograph? Yes, we can. I can see some butterflies on the flowers. There are six butterflies. I can see two frogs. There are three ducks. There is one turtle. I can see five beetles on the leaves. I can also see four crabs. Yes, I can see seven birds on the tree. Now let us make a pictograph of this data. It will be fun to draw the pictures. In our school, we have one to five classes. There are 70 students in class 1, 60 students in class 2, 40 in class 3, 80 in class 4 and 90 students in class 5. Shall we make a pictograph for this, Rita? How can we draw 70 or 80 students in such a small paper, Meeta? <laughs> there is a method of doing this in pictograph. We can draw the figure shown on the screen to represent 10 kids. That means for class 1, if we draw 7 such figures, it will represent 70 students. Am I right, Meeta? You are absolutely correct, Rita. Let us draw the table and draw the pictures. But remember, you should always write the key at the top or at the bottom of the table. Key means how much that each picture or figure represent. Here, one figure represents 10 students.